More Tennesseans are weighing in on the governor's constitutional carry announcement from yesterday. The most recent was Mayor John Cooper, who's speaking out against the measure. But as News Channel 5's Kyle Horan learned, there are also those who believe it will help law enforcement to do their jobs. We're a large city. We're a very diverse city. And just the thought of firearms being anywhere we go is just concerning. Leanne Hewlett is worried. Guns are on the streets. And they are out. Just ask assistant special agent in charge of the Nashville ATF. Generally speaking, um, there has been an uptick in uh, juvenile crime where juveniles are stealing firearms, whether they're stealing firearms from cars, homes, or gun stores here in the local area. Cases of stolen guns over the past few years have been increasing. But this new constitutional carry announcement and the accompanying penalties for those who commit certain gun crimes could aid in the effort to stop gun thefts. And even though constitutional carry would allow the average person to carry a handgun like current permit holders do, it doesn't open up concealed carry to all because federal law prevents that. For instance, uh, people that uh, are, uh, are, are previously convicted of a felony, uh, people that are... Uh, uh, in the country illegally, um, and there are other uh, prohibitions under our under federal law where uh, people are not allowed to possess firearms. Politicians are also responding to the news today, such as Mayor John Cooper, who released this statement to us, referencing the mayor of Memphis. I worry the legislation makes it harder to protect citizens and visitors in a safe environment. Current law has the support of law enforcement, and we need to help them do that job. Other lawmakers are still saying this will help those who keep the streets safe. Anytime we are spending money keeping, again, dangerous felons behind bars that have chosen that they will misuse firearms is a good day for Tennessee. Kyle Horan, News Channel 5. Right now, the legislation is not written for a permitless carry law, but we're told it should be debated in the legislature as early as next week.